Right, let's continue on uh, on modules. <clears throat> uh, a module can contain executable statements, which we you have briefly looked at earlier, as well as function and definitions. Uh, when I was actually going through the exercise earlier, I show you how you can actually print directly to the screen. And we also defined two functions earlier. Within the FIBO, there is FIB and also FIB2. Within the uh, .py itself, the test.py, uh, we have defined a function which is uh, basically b is equal to 2 and also define uh, a square function which we call fn. Those are functions definitions. Uh, now these statements are intended to initialize the module. They are executed only the first time the module name is encountered in an import statement. Now each module has its own private symbol table. Uh, symbol here refer to the variables that you define within the actual module itself, um, which is used as the global symbol table by all functions defined in the module. Uh, therefore, the author of a module can use global variables in the module without worrying about the accidental clashes with the user's global variables. Now these are all very fancy words. Uh, it is being thrown around. So let me just uh, explain a little bit for you. Now, every time when you import a module, the symbols that is defined within the actual file itself is within the so-called space of the module. So let's uh, come over to our FIBO here. Let me just open that up. Uh, preview. Okay, I wanted to open a new. Okay, so when you're looking at this, when you import FIBO, what would happen is that these symbols FIB and FIB2 are defined, and as well as AB, all these, in particular FIB and FIB2, is defined within the file called FIBO. But even when you import it, it's still an attribute or modules or functions within FIBO. Okay. Let's just say you have your own defined function called PI, which is 3.14. Now within uh, Python itself, assuming uh, it has another defined constant called pi, what would happen is that as you import it, it, they will clash. You will overwrite what is defined in the global variable, and that is actually not a good situation. But in this case, because Python takes care of it, you don't have to worry about it. How does it take care of it? Uh, in order for you to access uh, what is defined within the module, you have to first provide the module name, and then dot, the dot notation, followed by the name of the variable. So in the case of FIBO here, to access FIB, you need to type FIBO.FIB. Uh, that way, it's actually clear. It come, all these so-called symbol comes from FIBO uh, that you've imported. All right, modules can also import other modules. Uh, it is customary, but not required to place all import statements at the beginning of a module, just so that it's easier and tidy, so that it's easy to actually be referred to. Um, let's continue on this part here, which I didn't mention. Uh, on the other hand, if you know what you are doing, you can touch a module's global variables within the same notation used to refer to its function, such as module name dot the item name. Now there is a variant of the import statement that imports names from module directly from the importing module symbol table. Uh, this is the notation, this is the method here. So it's from FIBO, you import FIB and FIB2. When you import it using this method, what would happen is that FIB and FIB2 will be part of the uh, so-called global uh, names now. Okay, it will override whatever that you have in existence uh, already. So just be mindful of that when you actually do that. But typically, uh, for most part, most people will just uh, import FIBO rather than uh, from FIBO import everything inside. Um, this does not introduce the module name from which the imports are taken in the local table. So in the example, FIBO is not defined. Uh, there is even a variant to import all names that a module is defined. So one of the way to Im import all the names that is defined within the uh, so-called um, within the uh, uh, FIBO module, this is how you can do it from FIBO import star. The star here means import everything. Okay, when you do this, everything will be imported. Okay, and they become local. 
So what does this do? This import all the names except those beginning with the underscore. In most cases, Python programmers do not use this facility since it introduces an unknown set of names into the interpreter, possibly hiding some things you've already defined. So that's the danger of doing it. Unless you know what you're doing, typically this is not a, a common practice. For efficiency reasons, uh, each uh, module is only imported once per interpreter session. Therefore, if you change your modules, you must restart the interpreter. Uh, or if it's just one module, you want to test interactively, use import lib.reload. Okay, so that's one of the key things here is that it is only imported once. Okay, so basically with that, I'm going to stop. This is a little bit more on modules. Uh, we've experienced it in the last two lessons. This is just really uh, just solidify some of the learning. When we come back, we'll talk a little bit about executing modules as scripts.